everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, I've got a little journal share for you today. Now, if you remember recently, I did a swap with a lovely lady called Jo, and she made me this little jointed bunny, and it's all from vintage materials. Um, this is my swap for Jo. Now, I tend to have gone a little bit mad, as usual, because what Jo wanted was she wanted a winter journal um, in a little bag. And this is for her to do her sketching in. And I asked her if she would like to have some of my um, tags and things in it. And she said, well, she would. But uh, what I've ended up doing is a full on journal um, because I don't know when to stop. So that's the journal and a bag, but with everything in the journal, I can't fit it in the bag. So what I will probably do is I will email Jo and ask her if she wants me to send it like this or if she wants me to take everything out so the journal fits in the bag. Um, it's entirely up to her, but I'm really pleased with how it all came out. So if I just show you the little bag first. So this is one of my shabby bags. Um, you've seen me make these in lots of different styles. Um, this one I am absolutely thrilled with because I've done it with very wintry colours to match the journal. And pardon me, there's the back. So I've got some gathered, um, sorry that's bent over there, tool there. Um, there is a tutorial as well on how I make these. And then I've got pom-pom trim around the edge. I've got buttons sewn on to a little gathered piece of, um, oh my goodness me, sorry silk. And then because it's winter and it's near Christmas, I've made her a boho bead, which matches in with the colours of the journal and the bag. There is a little like round gold uh, glow bottle glass bottle with little um, blue beads in it and then there's a string of bells here white and silver so it jangles quite nicely and then again when I open this you will see that it's got a popper as a fastening and I've lined it with this beautiful aqua material and inside here what I've done is I've just included some photos now this is also DT project for Artie Mays um, it's been a little while but um, hopefully I should be able to catch up now so these images are all from Artie Mays's um, I think it's her Christmas winter uh, kit um, I think it's journaling cards I, I can't quite remember but I will link you to Artie Mays and then if you have a look on Etsy excuse me you will see them and you also get some that are already framed now I've cut some of the framework off but I thought Joe might quite like these to write on or to draw on so <clears throat> excuse me I've included them so for the journal just stick that over there um, so what I've done is I've used wallpaper my favorite textured wallpaper for the cover again this is sandwiched so you've got two pieces with some cardstock sandwiched in between, glued and sewn around. And that's the front. So the closure is a piece of sari chiffon ribbon. And then if I show you the cover. So this has been made um, layering up lots of different bits and pieces. I've got the same aqua fabric here in the background that is lining the bag. I've got this beautiful angel image, which is one of Artie Mays's. There's feathers here that I've put in behind for her wings. I've got bits of paper everywhere here. Sorry about this. I've got pom-pom trim. There's a little, um, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little silver grey um, safety pin there with a little tiny snowflake charm. It says the stars are always shining and I've got the buttons at the top here and then that's <laughs> that's the side and as you can see it is stuffed and then the back has got my label on and again I've layered up here with the fabric 
and some of the background papers. So the kits I've used in this Vati Maze is her journal cards. I can't remember if they're Christmas or winter and also her A Winter's Tale kit. So if I put this down like this and we'll start opening it. Like I said, it's stuffed and if you take everything out, it lies quite flat. So inside here, I've got a pocket that I've done with some chiffon material and I've lined it with some um, ribbon. And in here, we've got a tag that's basically been embossed through my embosser with a snowflake um, embosser. And then I've put some tool over the top and then on top of that, I've stuck down some snowflakes and we're topped off here with a bit of trim and Karen O'Reilly Blesser went to is it Kakrau in Poland I think um, last Christmas and she bought me several of these so I thought I'd include one of these um, in here so it's not a vintage postcard but it is a Christmassy one so just stick oh my goodness me that in there so here I've got um, a layer of my snow gauze stuff. Now, people keep asking me where I got this. Um, the only thing I can tell you is I got it on a roll like that. And I bought it from the craft fair that I went to last October with Andrea and Janet. So I it wasn't that expensive. There was tons of it and I've given quite a lot away. But apart from that, I don't know what it's called and I don't know where else you can get it. So when the craft fairs open again, if you get a chance to go along to one, keep an eye out for it. Anyway, I've put some of this white satin leaf trim down here. And then we've got the first page, Create Your Own Magic, which I've done some lacy stuff down, sewn that on. Again, because Joe is going to be sketching in this, I have left some pages blank or like here I've just got let it snow stamped and then some little snowflake embellishments but here I've got a little pocket this is one of my slow little stitching projects I made a bunch of these where I just layered papers together Let's see if I can show you because the the tub is right here I'll just move off the top because I've got bits and pieces on top here I just sat down one evening um, with a load of scraps and just made a load of these. Bits of paper, I mean, look how messy that is, um, in colours that would match in with this winter theme. And I just stuck them down together and then I sewed on some little flowers and I've got some vertical ones there like that as well. Um, and then there's a few that are a lot bigger. That's quite a large one there. And they're really easy to do. And it was Rock, Rachel from Roxy's Creations that actually inspired me to do that. And Jackie Chimes as well, because she's been doing it. And also Carol from Oak House Journals. So in here, I've got a little vellum pocket here. And I've got this little card of Gift of Love. And this is actually a little um, image from Pinterest. And I've stamped some um, snowflakes on the back. I've just noticed that's come away there. But don't worry, I'll stick that down again. Here I've got, like I said, Let It Snow that I've stamped. Let's get this in frame. And I'm going to sit down literally. And what I've done here is I've actually punched out these little snowflakes with a tiny weeny little punch. And it's in the um, same wallpaper that the cover's made out of. And then I've gone over it with some glitter glue and then here we've got kindness is like snow it beautifies everything it covers and this is from a page of winter um, quotes and things that I think Andrea has got as a freebie on her Facebook group and her website then here we've got some coffee dyed paper I did this so it looked like snow and I've punched some snowflakes out and then this is one of the pages from the kit and I've got a little layered up bit of fabric here, cheesecloth and a snowflake there. And on the side, I've done a little charm, which is another snowflake with a matching little bead. And it's on a clip and that is clipped onto a pocket right here. And this pocket has also been made with some lovely tool with a bit of lace on it sewn around. I've got this little piece of um, broad rayon glaze here. 
and then inside we've got one of the large tags from the kit the winter kit I've put the backing paper on the back that comes in the kit but I've also gessoed so that Joe can write on that and again I've layered it up with some of this broad rayon glaze some silver trim some um, eyelash trim and everything and that just hangs over there like that and then here paper clipped in <clears throat> excuse me this is um, one of the images from Andrea's kit of this lovely house and this one I've backed with some of my coffee dyed paper I've gone around all the edges with um, I think it's peacock feathers uh, distress ink this is one of the envelopes from the kit it's beautiful I love this one and I've kept it basically the way it is I've just sewn around it there's a little couple of postcards inside again that have been sorry the birds and the bunny I think I shrunk these down actually because there is a TN kit as well as a little um, Altoid kit tin kit of this so I know that I shrunk some down and you know I can't remember if it's the original kit for the journal or if it's a TN and then here again I've layered up some of this um, silk chiffon rather and some trim and little flowers and gems so that goes back on there I think that's oh, it's gone a bit twisted it's really difficult to put this on right and then here I've done a little bit of decoupage from a napkin of some little chipmunks and a wintry scene and then I've got a sparkle all the way here that I've stamped on this page there's a corner tuck that's um, secret hidden writing space this is what they call Rita Donnelly flip because she's the one that came up with this and this is um, a little tall envelope that comes with the kit and that is a little tag also that comes in the kit and that's been backed on coffee paper and I just kept that quite plain because I wanted it to be able to go up there like that and oh, goodness me why is it when you film something you become all thumbs so here we've got another beautiful page from the kit with the rabbits and the little stag and then here I've got um, the fox he is on from the same napkin winter napkin I've done some stenciling back here this is one of my tags I've put these up on Instagram so these are done like my normal tags where I've done mixed media backgrounds with paint and whatnot and then I've used lots of different bits of paper there's music paper this says walking in a winter wonderland and this is one of um, I think this image actually comes from Pinterest but it's one of my favorites so I had to use it and it's topped off with all this goodness up here and on the back I've just put coffee dyed paper and just used a little bit of ink there And on this side, this is from Winter uh, Winter's Tail Kit. It's one of the cards. Again, I printed on this one the background paper and gessoed. And you can see I've got the snowy gauze and the broad ray on glaze and all that there. Just to um, give it some interest. And then on this page here, this I've made using a paper bag and I've created two pockets. These cards of the circles are from the kit. I've got winter days and I've just used bits of doily and bits of trim. There's some wool down here that looks like snow. And in these pockets, I've got some more embossed little tags. And they've got like a, oh, that one's come up there. I'll stick that down. Little snowflake on there. And again, on the back, it's just um, coffee dyed paper. I'll leave that one out so I know to do it glue that down so we've got let it snow here and again my coffee dyed paper another beautiful image from the kit up here I've got a little cluster of fabric with one of the little um, snowflakes and we've done some more stenciling there's a doily and I've got a blue spotty bag here and inside we've got one of the cards from the kit this has been backed again with coffee dyed paper. And I think I've sewn around most of the tags as well. 
It might be the odd one that I haven't. I, I honestly can't remember. And down here we've got each snowflake holds the story of what it used to be and some more of the little snowflakes. Pom-pom trim. And what I've also put in here, which is this one, is I've put some really nice cartridge paper in as well for her to draw and sketch on. And then here we've got another um, little pocket that's all layered up. And this says chill airs. And then if you lift up the little snowy gauze, you've got that picture and it says and wintry winds underneath. And then in there, I've got one of the little cards of the squirrel and I've topped that off with a bit of this organza and a little snowflake die that's been stapled on. And that goes back in there. Another beautiful page and I've just, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I've just put glitter um, on the trees just to bring it alive. More stenciling, trim, um, punching. And then this is another one of my tags that I've made. And if you can see that. And on this one, again, I've got one of my little clusters with the flowers. There's some wool there for snow. And this has been painted and oh, all sorts of stuff done to this. And I've got a beautiful um, sari silk bow. And this lovely trim dangling uh, charm, rather, with beads and a little snowflake. And that says, all the world is bright. And they're Tim Holtz. All sewn around and backed with coffee dyed paper. And then on this side, again, I've made a little card. Now, I think this was a page, but I've made a little journaling card. And topped it off again with a broad ray on glaze, the snow stuff and that silver and some eyelash trim and that's been backed with coffee dyed paper more stenciling this is the middle of the signature and I've gone down over this tree with um, glitter and then in the middle I've got some more of these little bead dangles I like to do them one longer than the other some people like them equal but I like them to hang out so that they're not equal And then here we've got snow falling soundlessly in the middle of the night will always fill my heart with sweet clarity. And that was Novala Takimoto who said that. And again, I've punched out some snowflakes. And then here we've got a collage. Can you see? And on this collage, I've, um, I'll just take that out. There's paper, like music paper, doily, bits of ticket. Um, this is one of Artie Mays' images. It says bright winter day. Um, it said bright winter day. I would have thought it should have had an S in it, but I've left it as it is because it was one of the Tim Holtz. And I've got a little doily here. And then I've put little white flowers on here. Sorry, around here with the little gems. They're more of my snowflakes. And then down here we've got a Pricity, the warmth of the sun in winter. And that's a little pocket. And in that pocket... We've got a little collection here of tickets from her kit, from Andrea's kit. So you've got the bunnies with the little deer and the birds. And that's just been, you know, put together with a little brad. So we'll stick that back in there. Again, I've got more um, decoupage here with a couple little birds. A bit of inking, snow um, stenciling. Another page from the kit, and as you can see, I've carried on. Yeah, it's picking it up. The glitter, sparkle all the way, and this is a little bear with a couple of those chipmunks again. And then here we've got another card, and just like the other one, it's got the um, background paper printed on the back. It says "Create Your Own Magic," and again, I've topped it off with some of the trims I've been using throughout. Here we've got another one of my tags. Ooh. And this has got a bunny on it, the wintry landscape. I absolutely love this tag and feel quite, not sad, but oh, if I had trouble giving this one away because <laughs> you know I love bunnies. But I thought it was, it was a kind thing to do because Joe made me such a beautiful little bunny who's lying down at the moment. Stay there, bunny. There's the other half of the bag and that's got a little fox card in. Put that back in there. And then we've got oh, a bit of 
in there. Doily, more stenciling, other half of that page or one of the pages. Snowy um, coffee dye paper. Then here we've got like a little grey squirrel with a little cars and all. Some more punching out of snowflakes. Here I've got um, a little magic can take you a long way with a couple of snowflakes on cheesecloth. Another page from the kit. And then here, this is one of the pockets. I think this might have been, oh, I don't know, TN size. I, I don't know. I've shrunk it down anyway. And I've got some of the silver leaf trim, made some little berries with um, gems and matched it all in, made this little pocket. And then this is a little card from the kit. I actually think, now I'm thinking about it, this could be from the, the Altoid tin kit. I, you know, there's three of them, so, and like I said, I'm always shrinking down. Sparkle all the way, and then we've got another little one of my tags, and this is one of Artie Mays' images, and this says the snowflakes come down, and again, as you can see, there's a lot of mixed media techniques on this, um, paper, fibres, there's paint underneath, sorry, silk bow, and these are quite thick and sturdy as well these um, tags that I've made I'll flip that back there and then I'll show you the other one and then on this side I'll just stick that there a moment um, I've got another one of the envelopes and this is the one with the birds on and I absolutely love these so I just did a little bit of decorating down here sewn all the way around it and again in here, there is a couple of little shrunk down postcards. And again, backed with the backing paper and I've sewn around, uh, gessoed and sewn around. So that goes there. And then there's the other half of that fabric pocket with the trim. Inside we've got a stag tag, decorated the same on the back. And again, here we've got another little pinned on charm of a bead and a snowflake. So you can see what I mean. I have gone a bit over the top for someone who just wanted a little sketchbook. But uh, I know Jo will be happy with it. I've shown her a few photos. So this is a glassine bag that I've, um, I've layered up. There's snow uh, gridded stuff in the background. It's got, look, if I just hold it still, you can have a look. And you can see the layers there, the glassine. There's music paper. It says Contented Spirit. This is a picture of angels from Artie Mays' uh, journal card kit. And I've got doily on this and flowers and gems and snowflakes. And inside, I've done another embossed tag with the tool on the top, like you've seen previously. That just slips in there. And then up here, we've got another little layered area, little piece of, um, oh, there's lace and cheesecloth and another one of those little snowflakes. Now, this is a little tuck corner if uh, Joe wants to put something there, but I've also just left it like that for decoration. And again, I've done stenciling and let it snow and some sparkly snowflakes. And we've got some more trim and this is the back page. And again, there's the um, white snow gauze. And then in the back here of this pocket, just stick that there. I've got another one of the tags, the jumbo tags from the kit. And this is a little book I've made. Again, I've used one of the pages um, from the kit and shrunk it down and I've got if you listen carefully the silence is beautiful and I've made it look like hopefully that it's a snowy fluffy ground with some gems and then inside these pictures here were from a freebie from Andrea on her Facebook group and I've just sewn in a few bits of paper so that she's got an extra little place to write notes or to you know draw sketch or whatever she wants to do so that's the journal um i hope you like it and there's a bit of inspiration there for you i mean look at it it's huge 
and there's the little bag. Um, I've nearly finished another one. It's actually a blank journal because um, the lady it's for is for, um, I think it's Kim. And she was she won third prize in my giveaway challenge. So I'm going to get that finished um, probably tomorrow morning. And then I'll put a video up of that one as well before I send that off. And then that will also show you all what I'm going to be selling because I've got about four more of these left and I'm going to make some blank journal kits like I said I was to um, sell and I've got another swap journal to do with another lady as well I think it's um, I think it's Gita um, that I'm doing that for so anyway everybody um, stay safe and well don't get too cold will you because it is quite cold here in Cornwall at the moment look after yourselves and I'll be back again very shortly with another video Bye for now, everybody. Take care. Bye.